unbutton our history. Spilling a jar full of political buttons sent a thousand memories crashing across my desk into my mind. The 1960s traumatized the USA in unimaginable ways, living inside our great hopes and dreams of a world without war, full of justice and harmony. We never guessed the next half a century would be dominated by the exact opposite. We had no clue that our cultural and political dissenting would usher in an era of continuous war, riots, racism, sexism, militarism, like the world had never seen before. The array of old buttons conjured up all the joys and hopes of an era coming alive again, like lights going on in a deep, dark basement underneath a Trump tower. The spirit and irreverence of those pins still resonates. Cocaine import agency for the CIA. Draft beer, not students. Strike. Boycott grapes. Cuba si, Yankees no. Bullshit scrawled across the scales of justice. Preemptive war on terrorism printed around a peace sign. Huey Newton, Ho Chi Minh, Mao, Lenin, Zapata, images of great anti-heroes. So many years and so many marches, protests and cries for justice, all in my memory, popping up again and again as the decades roll past. Police lines from archives refusing to die, buttons now cultural icons of a past reborn of necessity. The USA empire turning from ugly to uglier, from unfair to insane, from science to religion, from hypocrisy to hatred and violence, from melting pot of genocide to war against the world. Homeowners sitting on the fences of suburbia knocked to the ground by the neoliberal bank bailouts, now wandering homeless in central city encampments, concentration camps springing up nationwide under the banner of ICE and Homeland Security, grabbing children from migrant families, just like they did to the tribes when we jailed them on their reservations. Nothing new here, just the awakening of a nation to the truth after a long cocaine opioid lace dream that could never have lasted and whose end is a real bummer. <laughs>